Contrary to popular rumor, the business actually began in April of 1966 when we opened up an apartment leasing company at 375 Harvard Avenue in Cambridge, and the name of the company was Crimson Realty. We bought our first piece of real estate in 1968, Ashford Court, an apartment house, 24 units in, in, in Brighton, Mass. It was a uh, student housing, and we went in and remodeled it. We turned 24 units into 36 units. The rents was 150, and when we finished, it was $500. The organization started to grow, and George and I said, let's, let, let's have some strategic uh, thinking about this. Where do we want to be in, in 10 years? Do we want to be doing this ourselves? which means we'd be small, or do we want to grow the company and bring in people uh, in the organization, which meant less profits to us in the, in the short term, but in the long term, it meant growth. And that's what we chose. We, we, we decided to invest in people and the organization and building an organization. When you think about it, what else do you attribute success to? I think that the capital recognized us in the beginning as a very successful real estate company where uh, we weren't charging fees uh, till the end, where everyone else was charging upfront fees. And Smith Barney came to us and said, you guys have a formula that we really love. George and I had to do an immense amount of traveling, which meant giving up quite a bit at home to build this company. Uh, and, and to build a company means to be out there. Another key to success was to be able to think strategically, look into the future, see which way the wind was blowing. Multifamily uh, was good uh, for a period, but then we evolved into areas such as healthcare, nursing homes, and mortgage banking. At one particular stage, we owned a savings and loan in uh, Texas, and out of that came uh, some single-family mortgage banking experience. So another significant milestone was our move west. Uh, we had historically been an East Coast based company with a heavy presence also in Texas and a little bit in the Midwest. But as we expanded the uh, value add series, we moved west into Denver and then out to the West Coast, even establishing a presence and office in San Francisco. That was a major milestone for the firm because it allowed us to have a national footprint. From that, we ultimately got into the mortgage banking business, the commercial mortgage banking business, and established Berkshire Mortgage Finance, uh, took the people that were in the single family side, reorganized, and over time, it grew to be one of the three largest uh, uh, GSE lenders in the country. I think the, the driving force has always been the capital. And if you raise capital, the company grows. If you don't raise capital, the company doesn't grow. It, 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 it is a true reality that, you know, we can't make what we don't have. You need to innovate and you need, you need to attract capital with the innovation. George and Douglas were never satisfied sitting at one level. We always wanted to lead uh, the pack and challenge ourselves to do better. We've been blessed with people who have been our partners through the 50 years. Uh, today as I look out and uh, I take a look at uh, Chuck uh, Leitner, David Only, uh, Larry Elman, Alan King, these are great individuals who've been with the company a long time, have, have been at the forefront of the, the growth in this institutional environment and they're the ones that have made it happen and we're just grateful for their partnership. Douglas and I are a rarity when you think about it. Not only are we brothers, but we've been in business together for over 50 years. We certainly have our share of uh, disagreements, but it's a pro partnership, partnership built on uh, a lot of love. And uh, it's been really great being your partner, Douglas, yeah. and I'm sorry <laughs> when we go into the sunset. <laughs> We have great leadership at all levels in the organization who clearly can take on more responsibility and help lead us into the future. The kind of um, chemistry and culture that exists here, the combination of, uh, of capabilities and expertise that exists in a company like this uh, is unique, you know, and, and, and uh, I think it's very important for, certainly for me personally, and I think hopefully for everybody who works here to value how unique that is. The Krupp family has certainly demonstrated a long-term commitment to their business, um, as the 50-year celebration certainly supports. And I think that history combined with uh, the way we're organized now and the way the company is owned now um, really gives, gives Berkshire a very um, uh, unique opportunity uh, to be successful uh, for many years.